a wide, shallow dish, kind of a plate-like bowl that I'm going to trim, and I'm going to put a very narrow foot on this. Um, I threw it intentionally with a lot of extra clay right here at the base of the wall. I had to have a lot of extra clay to support that wide angle. Without that extra clay, the whole wall would sag and fall during the throwing process. Now, one thing to think about is when throwing, our goal is to always try to put the foot transition where the or the foot where the transition occurs from basically bottom into side. So if it were a cup form like this, more upright, it would be under that corner. Or here like on a bowl-like form where it goes from bottom to side. On this one it's a little less defined since it's a wide sweeping uh, angle. And I am using my Giffen Grip for those people that aren't familiar with it. You can check out my uh, plate video. I do describe uh, trimming on a Giffen Grip. Now I'm always going to start off firstly by locking my hands, making an indicator where I want to put the outside of the foot. My hands are locked, my elbows are stable. I often put my left hand directly on the bottom to help keep it stable. Um, in addition to locking my hands together, I often press the tool against my index finger, my left hand as well. Now this is a lot of clay I'm going to take off right here. So I'm always taking off, going straight down from the foot first, and now all this is just extra. Take that off. All of these leather hard trimmings I'll keep and recycle. Okay, now you can see the aspect of kind of thinning out the base of that wall where I left it a lot thicker. I'll check the thickness of that in a minute, but now I'm going to go ahead and do the foot. And I'm going to try to keep the thickness of the foot about the same thickness as the wall itself. As the very middle of the plate is the lowest, this will be the highest point on the foot, and then I will trim away a little bit lower next to it. So it's slightly domed there to echo the interior. Now I want the thickness on either side of the foot to be the same, so if I'm not quite deep enough on the interior, I'll bring that down a little bit more. And then I'm going to round off the foot slightly, just to take off anything sharp. And I'll wet that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, now let's take a look, see if my thickness is consistent. seems maybe a little thick right there. I'll take that off just a little bit more. But the, si the sides feel pretty good. But I'll just take the, the interior down a little bit more.
And here, I'm actually going to give this a slight undercut. I'll show you how if you do an undercut on a foot, it gives you the ability to hang it on a hook on a wall. So I'm just angling that. There we go. So you can see how this angles back in there. That way, if I would like to hang this uh, on a wall, I can do that. The hook will just go right in there. Okay? Now let's see how that feels. Yep, that definitely feels better now. That feels pretty good. And that's how you trim a wide form with a more narrow foot.